Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial in which I will show you how to upload files through the file manager of SiteGround and of course what I will show you it is also uh, possible from FTP so from for example FileZilla but SiteGround uh, being one of the best if not the best hosting in the world allows you to do this uh, the steps that I will show you uh, from the platform itself. So, uh, step one, you go to websites and you reach your website. In this case, this is my uh, test website. Okay, so I am reaching my dashboard and then I check my file manager in here. Okay. Here I can see all my files. What I'm seeing here, I can see it also, as I said, from FileZilla. But uh, uh, SiteGround has uh, this improvement um, comparing it to other web hosting platforms because you can upload files and also folders from SiteGround itself. And you can also, as you can see, paste, uh, move, de um, download, delay files from SiteGround. Um, of course you can do it from FileZilla but it is better to do from, from SiteGround if you have it. So, for example, I want to upload a media file on my website through uh, SiteGround or FTP. Why? For example, uh, the, the media is, is too heavy for WordPress and WordPress says to you you have uh, exceeded the, the, the maximum um, dimension for your upload and I don't remember the exact word but the content is the same so you are doomed but you are not of course you can go as you can see to public HTML whoopee content uploads and then 2018 in my case that is the, the folder the default folder of the website in which there are all the media okay in all the uh, the dimensions uh, the, the real dimension the thumbnail uh, and so on and in here i can upload my file from this tab okay and I upload, for example, this file, it is a JPEG, if I my memory serves. Yes, it is. Okay. And now I want to see it in my media. And of course, now it is not. Uh, to make it possible, also from FTP, you must install a plugin on your WordPress. That is called Add to Server. So I go to a new and uh, I search for add to server. Okay. And then I install it and then I activate it. Next step, import files. And now, of course, I am using this. Uh, this is the name of my website. I go to publish uh, public uh, HTML, Rupee content, uploads, and then I choose my 2018A uh, folder that is the one in which, uh, if you remember, I uploaded my file. And here, as you can see, I have the exact files I can see in my uh, folder. Okay, so for example, I want to import this file. I click on import and that's it. Now WordPress has automatically generated all the versions of the dimension of uh, the media and if I go to the media I can see also uh, the media itself. So it is very simple as you can see I have uploaded the files through SiteGround and, I, and then I have it on my WordPress. Very, very uh, useful, especially if, if you have huge files to upload on your WordPress. For example, videos. You can create uh, a folder named, for example, videos, 
and do the same thing I have done uh, with the plugin. So you choose uh, uh, the, the correct folder and then you upload the file on your website. And uh, you can do it also for other things, not only media files. For example, plugins, uh, you can create other types of uh, PHP uh, folders uh, and you can integrate them on your WordPress website. Uh, many times you need to use a plugin as we, uh, as we saw in this case and uh, it is absolutely very simple in all the cases. Just follow simple steps and you will find the solution very quickly. And um, the same thing about uploading in files is possible also, as I said, for downloading, moving, deleting, and uh, so on. About the deleting files, uh, I will um, make a video, uh, um, a video in which I will show you how to delete a, a website through SiteGround and uh, also FTP. And uh, so for now, it is all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and uh, you, you and you found this uh, this method very useful as I do. And see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a like. And uh, yes, I think this is the week of the Black Friday, so just go to SiteGround through my from the link I left you in the description and buy a plan if you are searching for an Austin.